Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, yeah, it's the 27th of January, 2021. We're going to talk about Loop Ring today, but we're going to see if this coin is going to be 100x all coin. And looking at the chart, <laughs> it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Welcome to HFN, also known as you're new. This is what I do. I do the price prediction without the confusion. So you guys actually clicked on a pretty good video because now you actually see someone giving you price predictions without being confused. It's not complex, it's not hard. So if you guys want to at least get a heads up as to where I'm noticing price headed, you need to join the team. Yeah, hit the like button, stay and also subscribe here to the channel because we want to give you all this analysis the simplistic way. Everyone else is trying to make it complicated, trying to give you some analytical complexities to show you that this is what you need to add to your price chart. This is what you need to look into, quote unquote, what they term due diligence. Come on, it has to be better than that, right? It has to be a simpler way for us to determine where price is going to go. Well, I'm that simpler way right here. You got it. All right. So if you guys want to get the latest price prediction, though, let me remind you all to come to my channel right here. You guys can see it. Playlist. Click on this tab and you guys see all of the price predictions that I've done thus far for these cryptocurrencies to get the latest information. Come here because I put all of my price predictions right here in one of these playlists. So make sure you do that in order for you to get the latest updated price prediction that I have for these markets, all right? So now check this out, loop ring, all right? I did a video right here. You guys can see it for yourself that I was playing the weakness here into the market in loop ring right here on January the 8th. Take a look. Yeah, are you surprised to see the price go down in loop ring? I mean, I'm not because I expected it to happen. The chart was actually telling us that the market was weak. So we should not be surprised that loop ring went down. We should not be. You guys can see it right there. 18.32%. If you were to get out now from our price prediction on January the 8th, you're 29% profitability right there. All right. So cool. Let me get rid of that. That is done. That is over. We got a couple of things to address. A couple of things has changed since that time. That we need to talk about first things first are we still in a downtrend i mean just look at the chart let's keep this simple is the price going down in loop ring yes cool so the next thing we need to do is we need to extend down this trend because this market is actually following the overall trend of that line we're not here to adjust it we're not here to try to manipulate it it is what it is so we're not going to add no technical indicators to try to substantiate that this price is not doing that. That is not going down because it clearly is. All right, cool. As long as that's the case, we already know what our expectations are. Yeah, it's for price to continue to do that. Go down until we see this price in loop ring break it this way. We already know where we're headed. All right. So now you guys can see that we are trying to approach this descending line right now the last two days in trading into the market in loop ring yeah the market has been trying to break it it might happen tomorrow it might happen the day after tomorrow we have to keep our eyes open for that next thing this is where the buyers appeared right so now we know where the buyers are at right around here to the high that came into the market in loop ring on the 29th of august this is where the buyers came into the market in loop ring. Take a look. As I extend this to the left, I want you all to pay attention to this. This is a pretty firm area to where the buyers were at. It was acting as restriction back in the beginning of the year last year. So now it needs to be a firm area of support. Okay. And we did that. We bounced off around 75 cents recently. Cool. The market is telling us this information. So we have a very tight area between noticing whether or not the market is going to continue to go up. Are we going to break this downtrend line or are we going to continue to go down? We have a very small area. This is the area of contention right here. And we're about to come to a crossroads <laughs> right now. Check this out. This is all the room we have for us to see where price is going to do. Now, these two lines is very important because this line means the sellers are controlling the market. This line means that the buyers are. So as long as whichever line breaks tells us that the opposite team won. So if the buyers are not able to hold price in loop ring around 74 cents, then that tells us that the sellers are winning. 
If the buyers are able to break this descending line, then it tells us that the sellers are losing and that the buyers are dominating the market. It's just that easy. Okay, so now let me go ahead and get rid of that. And then let's transition this over to a different time frame real quick into the market in Loopring. Now you guys can see it. A buck 20 is the restriction area as well. Buyers got a huge job ahead of them. It does. They have a huge job ahead of them. Five day time frame. What do you all think? Weekly time frame. Let me show you all the hourly. Because the hourly time frame will actually let us know which is which is the sellers or the buyers winning. And right now, it looks like the buyers are winning into the market in loop ring. I like it. Yeah, I do. But my concern is still seeing the buyers break that descending line. You can still see price get rejected there. Right? Which is what's going on right now into the market in loop ring. Okay. So now, what, what do you think the price is going to do in Loopring? Seriously. We're going to go up, going to go down. So this is what I'm going to do. Considering that the hourly time frame is a little bit more bullish, I'm going to play the strength here into the market. But wait, calm down. I'm not saying that this is going to be a moonshot up to $4 or anything like that. But... I'm still seeing indications that this price in Loopring wants to go up, right? Now, this is gonna be real restrictive on how high I think it's gonna go. So if you see this video late, then you might have missed out on the move. So now let me show you all this on the daily. And already, as long as the price in Loopring is able to hold 73, 74 cents, I'm looking for the price to either do two things. First one, is either do this second one is either for it to do that those are my two outcomes right there okay so now I'm looking for the price to go up now like I said I'm not looking for a monumental move higher in price the first indication for us to take the bag is right there around a dollar twenty yeah that takes us right there to where we got rejected at yesterday a 16% move though that's pretty good. It's not bad to see that in loop ring. But that's part about it. A dollar twenty. Second area is going to be up there around a dollar thirty-seven, which is around thirty-two and a half percent. I'm gonna do around a dollar twenty-five. So we got a dollar twenty. A dollar twenty-five, and then I thought a dollar thirty for the third price target. So we got a dollar twenty, a dollar twenty-five, and then a dollar thirty. That's about it. I don't think this market in loop ring is massively strong to the point to where we can see this market really substantially go up in price. So that is it, right here into the market for loop ring gonna play a little bit of strength but generally not that much now if we break this descending line then we're going to add a little bit more strength to the market to see price go a lot higher but if we get rejected here again i already know that we need to cut the play because the market is telling us that it is still a lot of weakness here in this space right now all right so now real quick i want you all to drop me your price prediction to the market and loop ring let me let me know you know what what do you think about this particular type of cryptocurrency do you think we're going to go up now or do you think the price is still going to go down yeah real quick let me know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different